Welcome to the RuneScape audiobook series, narrated by Divided Story. Today's quest, Doric's Quest. Welcome back to another exciting tale of RuneScape quests, where we continue to follow the story of the adventurer exploring the world of Gilinor. Today we find him within the kingdom of Asgarnia, northbound from the capital city of Falador. What a great day, the adventurer thought, as he walked through the luscious farmland the adventurer knew today would be different, as he's accompanied by his old friend, Lotharius the Wizard. I've been meaning to get an upgrade for my combat gear. I'd like to expand to iron, or even steel plate, said the adventurer. With patience and learning a good trade, you'll be able to acquire that in no time, said Lotharius. As the two friends continued northbound, they were approached by two dwarves. You're entering Droven controlled land? What is your business here? asked one of the dwarves. We've come to barter, and to learn a little bit more about smithing, replied the adventurer. The dwarves looked at each other, and then back at the two friends. The only anvil on this side of Tavoli belongs to Doric. You'll find him further up the road, follow the bend, and keep true. If you see goblins, then you went too far. We'll head there now, replied the adventurer, looking to Lotharius, who returned a nod and grin. Be warned said the dwarf. You're in our protected lands, so no funny business. We'll be sure to conform to your rules, replied Lotharius. As the two friends followed the direction given by the two guards, they reached an old shack. It's become a little run down, but seems managed with fresher wood now touching the outside elements. Approaching the shack, they can hear the cracking of metal inside. The adventurer then proceeds to knock on the door. Ha, oh, just a moment there. Gah, I gotta pick that up. Curse you, gangly beast! Off with ye! Upon opening the door, they meet the small dwarf with a little metal hat and a nice luscious beard. Hello there. What brings you to my humble smithy? Asked the dwarf. We're looking to make some upgrades to our gear and weaponry. Are you dork? Asked the adventurer. Ah, that be me. What can I do for you? Replied Doric. We'd like to use your anvils and whetstones answered Lotharius. I'd like to let you use my smithy, but I currently need more raw materials to fix my anvil and to create more pickaxes for my storefront, replied Doric. We could help you acquire those materials, said the adventurer. Would ye? That would be awful kind of you. I need six lumps of hard clay, four copper ore, and two iron ore, said Doric. Is there a quarry nearby where we could acquire these materials? asked the adventurer. I'll do you one better, replied Doric. Doric gets on top of a wooden box near the window of the shack and points towards a mountain. You see that? That's Ice Mountain. Below is the heavy mountain lies an encampment of dwarves of my kin. We have our very own mine. Here's where I get my own materials. Let's be on our way. We have work to do, said Lotharius. Right you are, replied the adventurer. Doric climbed off of his box and started to head towards the door. If ye have any trouble, just use my name. It might just help you. As the friends depart from Doric, they start to head east towards Ice Mountain, ready to get to work. After some traveling, the two friends approach the dwarven encampment. Oi, hold her out there, Tootsie Foot. We said no funny business, said a voice, as the two friends turn around to see the two guards from earlier. What are you doing getting so close to our military operation? said the other. We'd like to use the dwarven mine below Ice Mountain to acquire new raw materials for Doric. It's true, Lotharius commented. Alright, Tootsie Foot, we'll let you into the mine, but you remember we're watching you, said the one dwarf. The two friends, now with loose permission, head onwards into the dwarf encampment, passing by a few buildings and witness a massive cannon being built on the side of the camp. The two head down a cramped ladder, with the steps in between being much more closer than a human-sized ladder. This is an odd fit, thought the adventurer. Now being at the bottom of the mine, the two look around to see workshops and workers all alike, hard at work, mining the material and transporting it on an intricate system of minecarts. The two head over to an ore deposit nearby. We're going to need to prospect these ores to find the ones we need, the adventurer said. I have a spell that should help us, replied Lotharius. After several casts and different deposits, the two friends had finally found iron ore and copper. We don't need too much, but this'll do, the adventurer said confidently. 
I think there's clay this way, replied Lotharius, as the two pressed onward. Coming to a darker side of the mine shaft, they find a dead end that's been expanded and there seems to be a mid-sized pond in the middle of the room, with water dripping from several stalactites. This is it, said Lotharius. This is where the clay is. As the adventurer heads towards the water, using his spade to collect the necessary raw material. That new spell you learned the other day. Let's utilize it, said the adventurer. Good idea, said Lotharius, as he used four fire runes and one nature rune to superheat the clay. Let's get this back to Doric. The two nodded in agreement and set out. What do you think they meant by calling us Tootsie Foot? The adventurer asked as they approached Doric's shack. You remember when we first met? It wasn't long after helping that cook of Lumbridge, replied Lotharius. Of course I do, said the adventurer. You went through the farmland, right? Yes, of course I did. Well, you didn't wipe your feet. Feeling accomplished, the two walked towards Doric after entering his home. Have you got my materials yet? asked Doric. We have everything you need, replied the adventurer. <laughs> Okay, Lotharius, now is the time for me to create my own iron armor! One problem. What's that? We forgot to get extra material. And now we find our friends heading back to the dwarven mine as the two laugh while they're being followed by two peculiar dwarven guards. Thank you for listening to this RuneScape Quest audiobook. As always, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.